Good morning. Welcome to a weekend vlog. It's 9.30 on a Friday. I'm about to make my greens. I did my skincare, cleaned up the house. I actually sat down and had my morning coffee, which was really nice. I usually make a coffee and then hang out with Gemma when she first wakes up, but she woke up so early and I just was not feeling on coffee yet. So I waited until she went to bed and then I made my coffee. So now I'm just making my greens because I'm trying to be healthy. I decided that I'm going to start counting my macros, just like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Like I'm not gonna count the greens. I'm not gonna count like my coffee creamer. I just wanna know what my lunch, like what my breakfast, lunch, and dinner calories are because I would like in my mind, I'd be like, okay, I'm just gonna eat healthy. But things add up. So my cheesy pudding I did last night because I was actually curious and it's like, 280 calories it's a little high on the fat side and that's because of the chia seeds and I can't really do anything about that because like chia seed pudding so that just made me aware of like lunch and dinner have less fats and more protein and carbohydrates you know what I mean so it was kind of good to like see what I'm putting in my body had <sighs> Like I said in one of my vlogs, I am a person that finds something that they like and stick to it. So I like my chia seed pudding and I'll probably have that for breakfast like for months. And then for lunch, I haven't really found something that I enjoy. I do want to make Greek salad. I bought all the ingredients and that's something that I'm going to do today is quickly make some. It's so quick. And that's really good, but I don't think I can have that every single day. So I'm trying to like think of a healthy, high protein lunch that I can have every day that I will enjoy every day. So I'm on the hunt for that. Oh God, that went everywhere. <clears throat> I am going to try and take my greens every day. I've been on and off of them for years now and it's just like, I need to stick to them because they honestly do make me feel more energized. They help me go to the washroom. I'm getting all of my greens in. Like I don't need to worry. Well, obviously I'm still having greens throughout the day, but it's good and it keeps you hydrated. You're not supposed to drink coffee on an empty stomach. So usually I would have this first, but not this morning. Mm. I have laundry again to do today. I don't know why, but I feel like I'm doing, well, because of Gemma, obviously, but I'm doing like one to two loads for Gemma a week because she goes through a lot of clothes. But for Seb and I, before Gemma, I would do two loads every Sunday when I was working. And now I feel like I'm doing like four, sometimes five loads every week. It's probably because she like spits up on us and we get more like, we get dirty quick, quicker, quick we are, quicker with her, with like with a child. So for example, before Gemma, like this is a fresh sweater. I just put it on. You're probably like, Ashley, do you wear any other clothes than that sweater? <laughs> this is my favorite sweater. I wash it probably now twice a week because it's just, I don't know. It's starting to like wear out though. Like, uh, I still like it, okay? And so I would wear this like three times. If I don't get it dirty, if I don't sweat in it, if I'm just like around the house, I would wear it probably three times before Gemma. But now I'll probably just wear it today and have to wash it because she's gonna get drool and food and guck all over me. So, <laughs> but yeah, this is good. This isn't like, uh, this is Subi Greens. I got this off Amazon. It's not the one I usually drink, but I just wanted to switch it up. I used to drink this one years ago and it's very like green flavor. I think if you're looking for something sweeter, the one at Walmart, it's like Greens Plus or something. It comes in like a white tub and you can get that berry flavor and that one's really good, but this one's just like straight up greens and I don't mind it. So if you don't like the greens, don't have it. <laughs> Don't get that one, I mean, like if you don't like the strong green taste, but has really good benefits. And yeah, I think I'm gonna quickly, what was that? I'm gonna do my makeup. I think Gemma should be up like any second. So far, just hang out with her while I do my makeup. 
but I need to start the dishwasher, but I wanted to wait until after my greens so then I could put this in there. It's so funny, like at night, if the dishwasher isn't full, I'll be like, oh, I'll just run it tomorrow after breakfast. And then after breakfast, I'll be like, oh, it's still not full. I'll run it after lunch. Like I try to fill it as much as I can, but then in the morning, I'm like, oh, I wish this was clean so I could like empty it and then, you know, start fresh. So I think no matter what, I just need to get into the routine of running it at night. It could have ran last night. There, there was quite a bit of stuff in there, but yeah, I think I should just run it no matter what. <sighs> I washed our table runners in the wash machine after we hosted, and I don't mind this one being a little bit wrinkly, but this, I wish it was a little bit smoother, but I'm going to keep it up for a little bit longer. I just like the colors. I feel like they really tie in with like all the other colors. But I mean, I don't know when to take Easter stuff down. <laughs> and I love tulips. They're my favorite flower. These ones are actually fake off Amazon. And I think I'm going to buy another pack in like a different color. But a lot of people say they look real. And I love how you can like droop them over to make them like look a little fuller and nicer these are from seb's mom for hosting she knows i love tulips so she got me tulips and then these are what i used for hosting you can tell that they're about to die they the only thing i don't like about tulips is they die so quickly we're on day eight and you can tell that i only have like maybe maybe two days left and then they're going to start losing petals oh crap i'm just I'm just going to leave them. <laughs> but I feel like when these tulips die, I'll either take a couple from there or I'll just buy another pack because I love this look for spring. Spring is all about the flowers and the colors and the beautifulness. So I definitely want to leave this looking like this for a little bit. Spring is probably my second favorite season. It goes like fall, spring, summer, winter. I hate winter. The only thing I like about winter is like seeing the pretty snow, but other than that, winter can just, just go. You're unnecessary. <laughs> and then I feel like I'm going to like it a little bit more now having a child because we'll be able to go out and go like tobogganing and build snowmen. And like, I think I'm going to live my childhood through Gemma and it'll be fun again because I did like winter when I was younger, but now I'm just like, I hate the cold. <laughs> but yes, fall is my absolute favorite. I love the like pretty leaves and going for hikes and the sweater weather and the bonfires oh my god mwah, mwah. it's my favorite and then spring i like spring because the leaves start coming back and everything starts turning green again and the flowers are blooming and but yeah i feel so much happier and like from spring to fall and then when winter hits my mood just goes like i guess seasonal depression and it's just it's hard. I hate winter. So I'm starting to feel happier just seeing like the sun and the grass again and the warmer weather. <laughs> so it's really nice. Gemma and I just got back from doing some running around. I had to go to Nofro for cat food and cat litter. I sometimes get it at Walmart, but I know that Nofro carries the food and the litter that I like to use. So I much prefer to go to no frills than Walmart because Walmart is always insanely busy. So I went into no frills and I also got some more Brussels sprouts because we're almost out of dinner veggies. And then I got some English muffins for some breakfast, like breakfast McMuffins breakfast english muffin sandwiches i don't know with like an egg and then we have some sausage meat that we can like put into patties it'll be really good and then i had to go to shoppers because i don't know if i told the vlog yet i don't think so wilson has an appointment at three o'clock today for the vets and because he's super anxious in the vet office they recommended giving him a sedative so he needs to take one eighth of this one eighth so i have to cut in half and then half then half because he's only 2.4 pounds so i'm actually really hungry the noodles are going i sometimes don't make it with noodles but today i do just because i want it to be more filling i am oh my god this scared me i am missing red onion and for some reason i feel like i'm missing something else 
Like I got my feta cheese, I got my cucumber, and I got my peppers. I'm supposed to have a red onion, and then, oh, olives. Oh my God, olives. gonna be really boring how did i forget olives that's the best part oh well it'll, ow, it'll still be good 11 grams of protein one fifth of the package 85 grams that's not bad i think i'm going to try and get like a protein noodle for the next time i make this i think like what's it called benzo bezo benzo noodles they're like a like a pasta noodle but they're just chickpeas I think so it's just a lot healthier for you and higher protein but for now we're working with what we got I didn't even think about to look for that in the grocery store I should have because they have like a really good organic section no fills but that's okay this chopper is absolutely amazing I love it with all my heart it makes everything so much freaking easier it's expired. The best part about this is I don't have to do any dishes by hand. Uh, I remember when we didn't have a dishwasher and I'd be like, oh, I want like Greek salad or oh, I want this for lunch or dinner. And I'd be like, I just don't want to do dishes. Like I hated cooking because I just the cleanup afterwards sucked so to have a dishwasher i'm like well, what are we making today <laughs> okay so that's lots of veggies that's the way i like it lots of peppers lots of cucumber i'm just gonna put the feta in and the noodles and let it sit in the fridge until seb gets home and then we're gonna go and head and get the ingredients that i accidentally forgot <laughs> yum i'm just going to put the hot noodles in this and let them cool down separately because i don't want it to like can feta cheese melt i don't want it to like cook the vegetables and melt the cheese the feta cheese can melt i have no idea so yeah i guess we're on standby to finish lunch i don't know what i'm gonna eat though because i'm actually i'm actually hungry i decided i'm just going to have this massive not massive just a regular size um salad kit I'm just gonna eat it all and then this was going to be a side dish for our dinner tonight but now i'll just do the greek salad as the side i'm sorry i'm like looking at a spider he's been just chilling with me hanging out i mean he's not bothering anyone so i haven't really cared to kill him or take him outside so um i don't really want this i don't want this what am I doing? I changed my mind. I'm going to have a pota potato. I'm going to have a wedge salad. I'm just going to use the vegetables that I literally just chopped up. large wedge which I guess I could have kept it together but it can be two wedges I didn't try and get lots of feta cheese out of there just because I have this entire thing that my mom left for um, she brought an app like this a pickle and cheese app so I'm just gonna use the leftover cheese that was left here from Easter into little cubes or little slices just for some cheese. I'm gonna use this container lid. I'm so lazy, I don't even want to get a cup of <laughs> So it would be so annoyed with me. I'm just gonna put some carrot for some crunch. I wish I had some like walnuts or something. That'd be really good. Little I'm so monotone right now because I'm just tired. Sorry. I was like, I'm gonna drop some ranch on here. What gets you for calories is sauces and like dips and stuff. 
that's where it all adds up and it adds up quickly and you have no idea but before i enjoy my delicious lunch i need to give wilson his drugs i'm gonna use a cutting board for this he's looking at me like did you see my name say my name say my name when no one is around you say baby i love you how am I going to do this? It's one eighth, so that's half, and then I have to do it again, and then I have to do it again. <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to cut my finger before I even cut the pill. I'm literally going to cut my finger if I try and cut this. Okay. There we go. One eighth. And then I'm going to indulge in this. This is massive. I'm going to be full for hours after that. But let's... <laughs> you look so peaceful. <laughs> No, 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 no. Swallow. 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 Can you take it? Good boy. Good morning. I just got ready for the day. Well, kind of. We're just doing like yard work, housework, and stuff. So. I just did a quick everyday makeup look. I recorded it for TikTok and Seb ordered breakfast for us because we have no eggs, no toast, no bacon, no like nothing for breakfast. We ordered breakfast from Campus High Five here in London and it's so good. So we haven't had it in a while. So let me show you what I got. If I can open this. Oh. Oh. your everyday restaurant breakfast bacon sausage two eggs hash browns toast oh this is my french toast i got french toast and i got white bread seb got two utensils and stuff seb got rye rye bread rye toast <laughs> and this meat skillet he had it the first time he ordered from here and he said it's the best skillet he's ever had in his life. So that says something because he's always picky. So I'm just going to mow out. I think Gemma's awake, so maybe I'll get a couple bites in before I have to go get her. Gemma decided she wanted to fall back asleep, so that's what she's doing. I'm gonna take this time and do something with my hair. I washed it on Thursday. It's now Saturday, so I don't want to wash it, but it's a little, little it's greasy. Like, it doesn't look greasy, probably, but, like, I can tell it's a little greasy. I did take a body shower this morning, just so you know, I have showered my body since Thursday. Um, but I'm, I don't know what to do with it. I want to do something fun. Oh, God. That is aggressive. Ugh. I'm gonna let that soak while I decide what to do with it. I don't wanna just do like what I usually do is like throw it up, but I'm just doing house stuff, yard work. That's all I'm doing today. So I want it to look, I want it to be out of my face, but I want it to also look cute.
got two, I don't know if you can see, but two bubble braids. So cute. I've always wanted to do this. So like just randomly doing it today. Cute. I've done this, this one, this bubble twice. It's not what I want to look like, but I probably won't even wear this all day. Like I'll probably end up taking this out soon. This is our backyard. I don't know if I've ever showed the vlog. So I have this garden that goes all the way down. It obviously needs some work this spring and summer, but I have, I think they're called daffodils, the yellow ones. I have a group of those coming up. And then I have something, listen, it's nasty. I have something coming up here, some type of plant. I have no idea what it is, but something's coming up here. And then we have, oh my God, they're turning pink. These are coming up, which are oh, hibiscus. Uh, I don't know what they're called. So those came up this, again this year. All of this, that's lavender. It should bloom again, I think in the fall. So I should probably cut the dead stuff off. These bushes lasted winter. This, I should probably just pull out. It doesn't look like it's coming back. Oh, there we go. Um, and then this is hydrangea, hydrangeas, hydrangeas. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. But it's also coming back a little bit. You can see green here and green here. I just have to cut this dead stuff off so the fresh stuff can come up which i can do that today too there's a little one there that's coming up and then i need some stuff in here but tulips i believe is like full sun so i'm going to put them here i think i don't think there's anything that's supposed to come up here except for this i don't think that's going to come back though so i can put like a couple tulips here and then maybe a couple tulips here Seb sister made us mushrooms we have three over here and three down there but yeah listen stop peeing on my bushes um this used to be our coffee table it was a stump from our co my cousins and it looked a lot nicer when it was our coffee table we filled it with epoxy and stuff but then we decided to switch coffee tables so now it's outdoor coffee table and it's like it's rough shape now but this is our shed. This is something that I want to do this year is like make this look nicer. Put like little plant boxes here with plants on the side. Redo the patio stones, have like a little step up. It also needs to be, um, what's that word called? The, the needs to be, um, you know, sprayed. Oh my God, I can't think of it. We did the fence last year which looks really nice we, we did the privacy fence i think also this year we're gonna lay down a paved back deck i don't think we're gonna do wood we're gonna price out both but i think paved is the way we're gonna go but yeah i need to get into the shed to get my gardening tools so i tried to plant tulips last year but the squirrels ate all of my bulbs so I'm hoping that they don't do this do that this year and I'm just going to try and put them a little bit maybe further into the ground so they don't bother them I don't know they probably still dig for them If you can hear me because Seb is weed whacking the fresh grass that we laid last year is so long so instead of cutting the grass he's just kind of trimming where it's extra extra long but I went through and I did mix up the mulch just to make it look a little bit nicer um, 
I'm absolutely disgusting now. Gemma is hanging out. I have to watch her though. She keeps flipping over and I don't want her to put anything in her mouth. But I'm just going to help her and then quickly put the last tulip right here. I just fed and put Gemma to sleep. And I now understand why I go through so much laundry. This is two, sweat two sweaters in one day. Um, when I was putting her to sleep, I heard like I felt like a snap. So my hair fell, fell out, but I'm not going to fix it right now. I need to clean up lunch, lunch, and then um, start tidying up the house quickly, like vacuum, Swiffer, pick up a couple things. I do need to go to the grocery store at some point. Seb just left for the dump. He finally took, <clears throat> oh, she might've lost her soother. She, she's crying. He finally took the mattress away. So now we have all this space. I need to paint these walls white. They're still gray as you can tell. But yeah, finally have the extra space. And then I need to still, the project that I'm doing with this, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Just, I don't know. This, I, the cats really like it up here, but I don't know where to put it. I, I don't think it's going to fit in the corner because the ceilings are, like, arched. Actually, no, let me set you down and figure this out because I don't think it's going to take long. Corner. But I think only Luna would be able to fit up there because... No offense, Moz, wherever you are, you're pretty fat, but that looks kind of silly, eh? This bassinet is eventually going to go. Actually, maybe I'll help. Help. Maybe I'll get Seb to help me put it away. Oh my god, it's like the... Oh, Jesus. This is winter stuff. This is like our off-season closet. Jeez. So we have like extra blankets and summer clothes, which will have to be put away at some point. Very rarely I open this closet. So I was thinking of putting this over here. I feel like that makes most sense. I'm just in the middle of taking my hair out because the one elastic that didn't, like, that broke. Because I'm about to go to the store and I can't, ow, I can't go to the, wait, that's kind of cute. Just one bubble. Oh, the wind is, like, drying my contacts out. But I can't go to the, wait, what was I saying? Yeah, I can't go, I can't go to the store looking like that. So, I'm going to take this out. Also... I just noticed my eye is getting really red and if you've been watching my vlogs you know that I thought I had pink eye one time but it wasn't it was actually my contact that was the wrong size and scratching my eyeball so and it's been irritating me but I'm like oh maybe it's just you know dry or whatever but no I can tell that it's damaging my eye it's getting red and itchy so I have to make sure i don't think i have the right size of contact in so i'm going to switch it to the right size and just throw out whatever this one is so i'm not risking damaging my eyeball and then we're gonna oh and then i have to change because i can't go like this <laughs> and then we're gonna go and get some charcuterie stuff i was just gonna go to no frills because it's just you know cheaper and they have everything I need, but the deli plate, like the deli that Metro has is so nice. Like, but I heard that the deli prices are absolutely insane right now. So I don't really want to go and spend like $40 on just meat. I don't know. I think I'm just going to get what I usually do and just go to no frills. My two nails are missing and I really don't want to have you know, to host with nasty nails. So I'm just going to glue this one back on because I found this one. And I'm just gonna 
here that on and then I'll have to start from scratch with my middle finger so I thought it'd be a good opportunity to show you guys how to do it since it's just one nail and super quick Gemma's getting feisty though she's ready for a nap soon or bed like for the night but I'm gonna try and get this done because I still have quite a bit to do and they'll be over well I mean I said 7 7 30 and it's 10 minutes to 7 so either 10 minutes or 40 minutes they'll be here but I'm going to I forget my train of thought so all I do is take my nail I have a pack of nails here and I put this on glue it on <clears throat> this is the glue I use I hope you guys can see it's really good it's kind of pricey honestly but I like how it goes on like nail polish and it holds my nails pretty good these two fingers did fall off but I'm right-handed and I use these a lot to like unbuckle Gemma buckle Gemma which really put strain on your nails. Okay, so then all I do, because this is the natural length, which sometimes I keep it like that, but it's just, it's unrealistic with a child. So I'm going to clip off the top. And then I go in with a UV light. This one, I just use my power bank for, my power bank, is that what it's called? And then I go in with a base coat, which is right here. I use acrylic nail polish. Is that what it's called? Acry no, it's not called. Shellac. Shellac. Shellac nail polish. And then I just put it in, put it in, put it under quickly. Sorry, I'm trying to rush. Oh, she's going to start crying. I'm going to go in with the purple. lost all heat. You got more than I can do top coat. And then the last thing I do, if you notice like the tackiness after you put top coat on, I just put on some rubbing alcohol and like a little cotton ball. And I just get rid of that tackiness. And then I will, I usually shape it before I paint it, but it's basically shaped. I just have to make sure that the corners are sharp. Completed now. It's Sunday now. Our game night was really fun. We, Seb and I stayed up till 3 a.m. But luckily it was my day to sleep in and Seb woke up with Gemma. I think he got up at like 6.30. So he said three and a half hours of sleep. But honestly, he's like the type of person to be more motivated when he has the least amount of sleep. Like right now he's like doing errands. He's gonna buy baseboards he's gonna install baseboards in the house and i'm like i had three more hours of sleep than you and i'm like ready for a nap <laughs> but he's gonna crash real soon like dinner time he's just gonna he's gonna be in bed by like six but that's okay i woke up and my eye was four times as like it was it was way worse look at this that is so bad it's happened before and it's not pink eye because it literally feels the exact same the only thing is that it's red like it's not stinging it's not itching there's no discharge there's nothing like it's so but if i hold my eyelid up and have like this certain amount of like light coming in i can see where my contact was scratching my eyeball so i have to be i keep saying this is this is like the fourth time this has happened but i need to be super careful to put the right size in each eyeball I can just buy the bigger size, which is what I was doing for years and years and years, but I don't want to waste the box that I have of smaller contacts that fits in this eye because contacts are expensive. So I guess on Friday night, I was just really tired and accidentally put the wrong contact in the wrong holder thing, but it'll clear up in a couple days. I have antibiotic drops from the last time it happened, so that's okay.
Ew. What's this, buddy? <gasps> no! Oh my gosh. Seb, that snake's gonna bite him. Is this a snake? Hey. <gasps> You're making me so nervous. Sorry, Wilson. Sorry. You're making me nervous. Look what we found, buddy. Just a wee little guy. My eyes are burning. going to end the vlog here because I'm pretty sure this vlog is pretty long um but I hope you guys are enjoying the long vlogs I am I like editing it's like a little hobby and then also just sharing my life is really fun I know Luna come on I know my life isn't that fun I like that not fun at all but I don't know I just really like vlogging and it's a hobby of mine and sharing my life with you is something that i enjoy and, and i hope you guys are enjoying it please like and subscribe the likes really help me because my videos will go further leave a comment that will also help my videos reach a little bit more to like a different audience but yeah i'm tired i'm gonna make a coffee <laughs> i'll see you in the next one